two. So they're ready to go now. Sandown race number two and the green light. Stand by for a start here. Here's Sant. Away and racing and five star hopeless away. Missed it by three or four. And Flying Lantern won the start to lead Aston Lavinia. Five star hugs the rail. He goes to third only a length away. And he's made up some good early ground. Then Ivy Isabel, followed by Rose's Honey. Then Bodine over Burdine and Chris Gay at the tail of the field. The leader, Flying Lantern, led by a length and a half to five star, who's got it all to do. And they're clear to Bodine running on. But as they turn, it's Flying Lantern clear. Flying Lantern too good. One at two and three quarters to the unlucky five star who was an eye-catching second. Likewise, Bodine third. Then Aston Lavinia followed Ivy Isabel, Rose's Honey, Triskay. And it was back at the tail of the field here. The other runner, Burdine, one of the last in. 29-43, an outstanding run. Well, number three, Flying Lantern, once he was able to cross over and lead up and, and Five Star had missed the kick, he was always going to be hard to beat Flying Lantern. And uh, Connections have had a, a pretty good opinion of him from day dot. I heard Peter Riley on radio early days saying that he might end up being a nice staying type. He would barely blow out a candle after a run. And he's got home in 10.49 here. And that's now starting to, to really show that strength he's had. And he's